first alert forecast with forecaster Jennifer Perez, only on Fox 47 News at 10. Well, lots of big events going on this weekend, Jennifer. I was just showing you all the yes. pictures of my phone from last year's Hot Air <laughs> Jubilee. A lot of fun, and they need good weather for that. So I'm hoping you Half good of it's news. looking really good. Okay, that's good. And hot. The other half's looking a little wet, so. Well, these balloons can't launch if it's Saturday's raining. Saturday's looking good for that kind okay, of stuff. Okay, perfect. So just, Wonderful. Just a little hot. Have a look at our satellite and radar loop. We do have some rain, too. Get through before you can enjoy that hot jubilee festivities on Saturday. Today we saw some blue skies in the morning quickly clouded up in the afternoon. And we did see some light sprinkles early this evening, but now, well, the rain is starting to move in. The system's moving into Wisconsin, and we're starting to see some showers with that. We'll continue to see some showers and storms overnight into tomorrow. Low temperatures today right around the low 50s and upper 40s. High temperatures topping off from the low to mid 70s, a high of 76 in Lansing, 73 in Mason, 74 in Marshall. Across the region, temperatures, well, a little warm, basically in the mid to low 60s further west of us, 75 in the Quad Cities still. A look at our U national satellite and radar loops, keeping uh, most of the U.S. pretty dry, and that won't be the case for us. Our next system, you can see it right there, it's starting to move into Wisconsin with showers um, and cloud cover, and we'll continue to see that tonight. So if we're going to go hour by hour, we'll be mostly cloudy tonight with scattered showers and storms. For tomorrow morning, it'll be a little bit of a wet commute for you. We'll start off cloudy again with scattered showers and storms. And that'll continue throughout the day as the system continues to move northeast. Then a cold front dips down uh, in tomorrow afternoon. And with that, some scattered showers and storms as well. Then tomorrow night, our conditions start to clear out and we'll eventually turn partly cloudy tomorrow night and into Saturday. Saturday is looking really nice, mostly sunny and dry. That also means we're going to be uh, pretty mild as well. Temperatures will be very hot actually. And then for uh, for Saturday, you can see that our jet stream will have our flow from the southwest. Look at all that warm air just south of us. That's going to move north towards us. That's going to be bringing us some warmer temperatures on Saturday and we're talking well, highs topping off in the 90s for us. It's going to get that mild and hot. So you'll want to stay hydrated. You'll want to keep your sunscreen if you're heading out to that Faster Horses concert. And be sure to stay hydrated. That's really important. Humidity is going to be up there as well. It's going to start to feel a little oppressive on Saturday. For tomorrow morning, we'll start off right around the low 70s, topping off to the mid 80s for highs on Friday. Then Saturday morning, we'll start off warm again, right around the low 70s. And then our high temperatures will be topping off right around 90 for a high on Saturday. Then Sunday, we'll drop a degree or two, but for the most part, this weekend's looking pretty hot and uh, humid. We'll eventually drop down to the lower 80s for this upcoming week. For tonight, we stay cloudy with scattered showers and storms, a low right around 65, with winds out of the south, southeast about 8 to 12 miles per hour. And tomorrow, we'll be uh, mostly cloudy with high right around 86. We'll start off uh, with scattered showers and storms, and that'll continue throughout most of the day. Tomorrow night will eventually dry out. Your seven day is keeping Saturday for the most part dry and sunny, but hot, humid. And then have a look at next week, Sarah. Monday through Thursday is looking like a bit of a dry stretch for us. That's our thank you for Mother Nature, I think, for putting up with the weekend that she's given us, huh? Yes. yes. That's our payoff. All right, Jennifer, thank you.